This Japanese restaurant in Manila was ready to once again open its doors to dine-in customers starting today. But in a last-minute decision, the government extended the MECQ period in Metro Manila until September 15. This put to waste the efforts of the restaurant staff to disinfect and stock up on goods for their supposed comeback. Business manager George Santos laments that some employees will have to go on for another week without income. Sana bago sila mag-announce, ano na talagang planchado na. Kasi yung pag sinabi na, oh ganito, in-announce nila, syempre lahat ng tao maasa na makakapagtrabaho na. Parang joke na lang nangyayari. Restaurant cook M says he borrowed money last week to pay for his bills, expecting that he will be able to repay it starting today. Yung sasawarin ko po, yun po yung pambabahid namin ng utang. Kaso? Kaso yun nga, tapos pa din. Other restaurant owners have brought their complaints to social media. This restaurant owner, for one, says they already underwent general cleaning and a staff meeting. They had also ordered meat that will last for a week. The group Resto PH estimates that the sector will lose 1 billion pesos nationwide as the government extends MECQ. 45% of the losses will come from Metro Manila. The estimate does not get included Carinderias. More than half of workers from every restaurant will also be affected. The sector is appealing to the government to do away with last-minute declarations of quarantine classifications. We feel so helpless and disposable na industry. Uh, parang kinokondem lang po kami na mamatay na lang sa tabi. And uh, that's, uh, that's, we are very angry about this. The trade department has advised restaurants to exhaust their stocks through takeout and delivery services while waiting for the IATF's final decision. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.